Was that dragon that Daemon sang to? Was that Vermithor or the cannibal? Let's discuss this in depth in this video. Firstly, who or what is Vermithor? Well, he was a male dragon that was also known as the Bronze Fury and was formerly ridden by King Jaehaerys Targaryen. Vermithor was born around 30 years after Aegon's conquest and was described as a golden dragon with huge tan wings. Only Beleriand the Black Dread and the she-dragon Vhagar were larger than Vermithor and by the year 48 AC, he was claimed for the first time. The dragon was about a century old at the time of the Dance of the Dragons. He was a companion of another large dragon called Silverwing. Vermithor was probably one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful, of all the dragons by the time of the Dance. On the other corner, who is the cannibal? During the Dance of the Dragons, the cannibal was a wild dragon who dwelt on Dragonstone. The small folk dubbed him the cannibal because he practiced cannibalism, eating on deceased dragons, newborn dragons and even dragon eggs. Along with Sheep Stealer and Grey Ghost, he was one of the three dragons that were wild, entirely wild who lived on Dragonstone. The cannibal's precise age was yet to be determined. Uh, the wild dragon Sheep Stealer is claimed to have hatched while the old King Jaehaerys was young, that is early in Jaehaerys the first rule. Uh, the cannibal is said to be even older and the eldest and the biggest of the three wild dragons, making him older than Sheep Stealer and even older than Vega, or maybe as old as Beleriand. So is that dragon the cannibal or Vermithor? So in episode 10, Daemon, after affirming the dragons that the blacks have in their camp, also said that Dragonstone had two other large dragons that could be claimed, referring to Vermithor and Silverwing but at the same time saying that there were three other wild dragons that could possibly be ridden. And later he went to sing to this large dragon who was in that dark pit. The dragon rose up, spewed a deadly flame from its mouth into the air. And so now, with that in mind, let's assess the points that would tell us the identity of this deadly and magnificent beast. So firstly, the dragon didn't attack Daemon after hearing the song that was sung in High Valyrian meaning that this dragon was accustomed to people being in his presence, maybe even dragon tamers and dragon riders. But at the same time, we can also say that the cannibal being a dragon would have had a certain tolerance to Targaryens, as they were also dragon blood. We can see that the dragon was clearly a very large specimen, but that in itself would give points to both Vermithor and the cannibal as they were two of the largest dragons in Dragonstone. So that would get us nowhere exactly. But we can see that that dark cave the dragon was in was in fact a dragon pit and the wild dragons were set to dwell in other areas uninhabited by people. So that's another point for Vermithor. Just to be sure, we have to take a glance at what has been said in the books. Prior to the Dance of the Dragons, would-be dragon tamers have made attempts to ride the cannibal a dozen times and his lair was littered with their bones. Even when a man called Silver Dennis tried to tame another wild dragon called Sheep Stealer, the cannibal took notice of the people there and descended on them, devouring them all. So the cannibal had a taste for blood, for human blood, and if it was him then Daemon would be a snack by now. Therefore with 99% certainty, we can say that this was the Bronze Fury, Vermithor. Now we can start estimating the size of Vermithor and assess how big he was compared to Vega and the others. So from looking at the different scenes, we can say that this dragon was way bigger than either Caraxes or Cyrax, even bigger than Melee's, as his jaw size alone was more terrifyingly bigger than the jaw of Melee's in the scene of her in front of the Greens during Aegon's coronation. By superficial examination, we can say that this dragon had a head size of more than 12 to 13 feet long, twice the size of Daemon Targaryen's height when converted to length which we can extrapolate uh, Vermithor to have a body length of around 200 feet or 60 meters, taking into consideration that he has a similar head-to-body ratio as most other dragons. Well, except for Caraxes, which was a deformed beast and had a serpentine snake-like body. Therefore, Vermithor would be around 50 feet shorter than Vagar, but also 50 feet longer than Melee's, somewhere in the middle. He is in fact the third largest dragon in that world. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Do hit the like button for support, subscribe and smash the bell icon for regular updates on new videos here on this channel. Till the next one, take care fam.